This video uh, will be an introduction to using the LD1TR for PSK31. We'll also be using HDSDR, Ham Radio Deluxe, Digital Master 780, Virtual Serial Port Emulator, and Virtual Audio Cable. Uh, there is also a document with written instructions that you may want to refer to on garageshop.com and it will be posted as a PDF in the downloads area on uh, the Lazy Dog Engineering website www.lazydogengineering.com so without f further ado I'm going to get started now we're going to use uh, Ham Radio Deluxe to control transmit receive switching of the LD1TR uh, it in turn will be controlled by Digital Master 780 which will do the processing for uh, the PSK31 in order for Ham Radio Deluxe to communicate with HDSDR, we have to set up a virtual serial port. Ham Radio Deluxe communicates with radios over uh, over serial ports, and HDSDR has the ability to listen and talk on a virtual serial port. There are several different vir vis uh, virtual serial port emulators. The one that I've downloaded is particularly easy to set up, but uh, while, while it's free for 32-bit systems, for 64-bit systems you have to download a digitally signed driver and there is a $24.95 charge for that. There are other alternatives that are entirely free. But if you have a 32-bit system, this is the one I recommend. Now setting it up is very, very simple. Go to Device, Create, use the defaults, go to next, and then we'll pick a serial port number to use, and this should be something that isn't already in use, in other words doesn't already exist. I've been using COM26. Don't check emulate baud rate, I don't know what that does, and it is obviously not necessary. Click start, and then you can minimize that. Next we will set up a uh, virtual audio cable. Actually this will be a sort of an ongoing process during this video, but I'm going to get it started now. I need to have three cables set up. One is strictly used for this recording. The other two, well one of them connects the audio output from HDSDR. That's like the audio output from a conventional transceiver to the input of Digital Master 780. The other one uh, connects the uh, audio output of Digital Master 780 to the transmit audio input of HDSDR the same way that you would commit, uh, connect the audio output from DM780 to the audio input of a conventional transceiver. So uh, we're going to have three cables. The number of cables is set up here and it defaults to one but I recently had it set to three just hit set and then you can minimize the virtual audio cable control panel Okay, now we'll launch HDSDR. In the usual way, select EXTIO underscore LD1, not EXTIO underscore SI570, which is used by EXTIO LD1, so it has to be there. And then when the select device dialog appears, click OK, as you normally do. Um, set the bandwidth for 9600 since you're going to be transmitting, presumably. On the sound card options, the uh, receive input from the radio is still the uh, output from whatever sound card you're using as your radio interface. In my case, it's the uh, EMU0202 microphones. 
and the TX output to the radio is uh, speakers or line out from that same radio interface sound card. In my case it's the speakers of the EMU0202. RX input will be line 1 of the virtual audio cable. Uh, TX output we will make line 2 of the virtual audio cable and then click OK to dismiss that. Uh, let's see. Under Options, select CAT to HDSDR, and we will. I've already got this set up. I think you can see it since it's grayed out. Select Port, and then uh, you should be selecting COM26. Let's see if I deactivate it, maybe that will not be grayed out. Yes, okay. I've got two choices there. COM26 is the one that I set up using virtual serial port emulator, so that's the one we're going to use. Baud rate, uh, I've got it set to 9600 hertz, but it seems, well, just do that because that seems to work. For PTT activation pins, none, CAT only. That's actually why we're using HD, uh, excuse me, Ham Radio Deluxe. It will send a CAT command over port 26 to HDSDR, so make sure you've got selected none cat only for that and uh, then select activated which will show up as being checked the next time you look okay. and uh, and now we can click start see a couple of uh, what I think are PSK 31 signals here um, I would like to be able to listen to those in the headphones actually you can probably hear them in this recording no you can't not yet okay I'm not going to try to show you every little thing about uh, using DM 780 this is the super browser it shows all the signals that are in the passband and being decoded on tickers and in a moment I'm going to click on uh, one of the tickers somebody who's calling CQ and then that'll bring up the uh, QSO pane there that's a nice loud CQ strong signal select his call sign and uh, choose call sign from the pop-up. If I'm using the logbook that'll start building a logbook entry. It also starts building a transmission to send a reply to him which is what I'm doing now. And the stop tag at the end of the line will automatically switch back to receive. Looks like he came back to me, so I uh, finally have a contact to show you. Band conditions have been bad for the last couple of days, so this has taken me a while. Now he was looking for Indiana for uh, WAS. So he's probably pretty happy to make this contact. And I'll send him a, another transmission. This time I'm going to be typing it in.
and that's the end of the transmission. Okay, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it uh, useful and instructive.